hi again so in this video you're going to know the different parts of your computer this is a very important video especially for beginners and intermediate technician so let's get started so basically by the way you will find the link for this article in the description box okay okay this is a very important article where we're going to see the main parts of a computer so let's get started so getting to know the different parts for your computer so understanding the inner workings of your computer have you ever wondered how your computer is able to perform such as complex tasks from browsing to web to running intricate software programs our computers seems to have a mind of their own however Behind this seemingly magical device lies a series of interconnected parts that work together to power your computer. In this article, we will dive in into the various components of a computer, demystifying the maze and shedding light on the different parts that makes it all possible. So let's begin with the first parts the cpu or the central processing unit the mind of a computer or the processor okay at the heart of every computer is the central processing unit or cpu think of it as the brain of your computer responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations the cpu is made up of several key components including the arithmetic logic units alu and the control unit the arithmetic logic unit performs mathematical operations such as addition and subtraction while the control unit is responsible for fetching and executing instructions random access memory the second part one of the most important part by the way i have a video i post a video last days about random access memory you can check you can watch that video so random access memory ram also known as a memory is another crucial component of any computer system while the cpu handles the processing power ram acts as a temporary storage space for data that is actively being used by the cpu the more RAM your computer has, the more data it can store for quick access, resulting in improved performance RAM is volatile, meaning it lo loses all data once the computer is powered off or restarted. Third part is the storage device, hard drives and suicide drive. By the way, there is until now or there is more but the main devices storage devices is the hard disk drive like this one in the picture and the solid state drive that is like just a flash disk okay and the third one is the vme we're gonna see all this when it comes to long-term storage your computer release on either a hard drive hdd or a solid state drive ssd both serves to the same purpose of storing of files but they do so in different ways a traditional hard drive contains spinning disks called platters which are read and written to using a mechanical arm in contrast, a solid state drive uses flash memory chips, resulting in faster read and write speeds. SSDs or solid state drive are becoming increasingly popular due to their speed and durability. The motherboard and expansion slots. So here we're gonna see the expansion slots. The motherboard acts as a main circuit board of your computer, providing the platform for all other components to connect its houses, the CPU, RAM, storage drivers, and other essential components. Additionally, the motherboard contains expansion slots or sockets, which allow 
you to add or upgrade components in the future. This includes slots for graphic cards, sound cards, and networking cards, among others. So the graphic processing unit or the GPU, one of the most important parts in every motherboard, especially for gaming purposes. While the GPU handles general computing tasks, a separate graphics processing unit or GPU is responsible for handling graphics intensive tasks. This includes rendering images and videos, as well as processing complex visual effects in video games. GPUs have their own dedicated memory and processing power, allowing them to work in tandem with the CPU to deliver seamless graphics performance. Power supply or PECU power supply unit, of course this is for power. To keep all components running smoothly, your computer requires a reliable power supply unit PSU. The PSU is responsible for converting the electrical power from your wall outlet into the appropriate voltages required by the different components inside your computer. It ensures that each component receives a stable and consistent power supply, preventing any damage or instability. Then finally, we have here the input-output devices. As you can see, like the mouse, the scanner, the touchpad, the keyboard, the speaker, the monitor, etc. The printer, etc. Okay. So lastly, we have the input and output devices, which allow us to interact with the computer. This includes the keyboard, mouse, monitor, and speakers. The keyboard and mouse are used to input commands and interact with software, while the monitor and speakers display the output and provide audio feedback. These devices are essential for use to communicate with our computers and make the most out of their capabilities. As a conclusion, understanding the various components that power your computer can demystify the maze of technology and provide valuable insight into how your device functions from the CPU's processing power to the storage provided by hard drive and SSDs. Each component plays a vital role in enabling your computer to perform complex tasks. By delving into the inner workings of your computer, you can develop a greater appreciation for the technology that surrounds us and empower yourself to make informed decisions when it comes to upgrading or troubleshooting your machines. Of course, there is other parts of computer but this is the main important parts that you can find in every computer of course there is the bios for example the basic input output system etc but this is the very important parts that you can consider so thank you very much guys don't forget please to subscribe share and like the video because your likes and engagements motivate me to create better content for you. See you in the next video.